Hello everyone, and welcome to the Minecraft Transit Railway Tutorials. In this episode, we will talk about a new transportation mode for this mod, Boats. We will also learn about some useful building tools which will make railway construction much easier. Finally, we will also cover some smaller updates and useful features. Let's get started! Unlike other similar mods out there, Minecraft Transit Railway aims to provide automated transportation to the game. As a proof of concept for additional modes of transport, boats have been introduced. They are very similar to how railways are set up, so feel free to go back to the first tutorial video if you need a refresher. Let's take a look at our inventory. There is now a boat dashboard and boat node. We will also need some rail connectors. First, we will place down a siding. Unlike rail nodes, boat nodes can only be placed on fluids, not solid blocks. The same rail connector items are used, but a boat node cannot be connected to a rail node. Let's create some platforms and connect them up. Next, we will use the boat dashboard to set up stations, depots, and routes. Note that railways and boat systems share the same stations, allowing for interchanges between different modes of transportation. Routes, platforms, sidings, and depots only appear on the corresponding dashboard. Our system is now operational. Even though the boats themselves might not have doors, Platform blocks are still required in order for boats to pick up passengers. Now that boats have been added, should the name of the mod be changed? What ideas do you have? Let me know down in the comments. Let's take a look at some new building tools. These items can only be used on existing rails, so let's create a short section of track for testing. The first tool is the bridge creator. There are four options available, each corresponding to the width of the bridge that will be created. Let's try using the bridge creator with a width of 5. As we can see, the currently selected block is air. To select what material our bridge will use, shift and right click on the block. For this example, we will use polished diorite. Right-click the two nodes of the existing rail to start the building operation. Slabs can be used to follow slopes more closely. The next tool is the Tunnel Creator. Just like the Bridge Creator, there are different height and width options available. The Tunnel Creator digs a hole following a rail, so we do not have to select a block. Again, let's right-click the two nodes of the existing rail. Finally, let's take a look at the Tunnel Wall Creator. 
This tool places blocks on the sides and on top of a rail. We will choose smooth stone for this example. Shift and right click on the smooth stone and then select the nodes just like before. If we made a mistake and want to cancel the operation, open up any dashboard and click on the operations button. We can see what tasks are currently in progress and cancel them. Note that there is currently no way to undo an operation. Now, let's look at some updates and useful features. The top part of the platform screen doors can now be a standalone block. This is useful for players to see the routes for a certain platform without platform screen doors or automatic platform gates. To construct this, Place down platform screen doors as before. Merge the glass sections with a brush to create the route map. Right click the top with a brush to adjust the arrow direction. After everything is properly placed, right click the top with shears. This will detach the top portion with the bottom part, and we can now break the doors and glass. Finally, here are some changes regarding the dynamic system map. For Minecraft Forge versions, we must add slash index.html to the end of the URL. If we click on the gear icon, we can see a new directions icon. This can help players plan their journey if they are unsure of which routes to use to get to their destination. Type in the start and end station and the map will find the best path for us. We can also click on the station and set it as our start station using the home icon or set it as our destination using the directions icon. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Minecraft Transit Railway Tutorials. Today, we learned how to set up ferry systems, build with the three new construction tools, and explore some new features. If you are enjoying this mod so far, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to release awesome content for you all. By becoming a patron, you can get Discord benefits, in-game shoutouts, and even on-demand train modeling. The link for my Patreon is down in the description. Lastly, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and interest in the mod, and I'll see you in the next video.